Kia ora and warm super greetings to you all. Welcome back to another episode of how to make a boomer shooter. Um, where we left off from the last episode, we imported our textures, we made ourselves a little map, and we got familiar with how to make a player character as well as edit his parameters and put some sound resources um, that they can use. Last episode, I said I wanted to get more in depth with some of the mapping tools. Um, I won't get too in depth, just some small little things that you can use when making your maps and um, I wanted to make our first weapon, so might as well just jump straight into it, eh? So when it comes down to the mapping, all I really wanted to show you guys mainly was how to place multiple tiles at once instead of having to draw them all individually. As you can see, I'm left clicking here and I have to draw all of these individually. One way to not have to do that is if I hold control and if I left click and drag, there'll be a green area and this green area when I let go will be filled with the tile that I've selected which is awesome and um, if I do the opposite which is um, control and right click it'll show a red area and if I do that it'll remove um, once I let go of those keys so yeah another thing I wanted to jump into was as you guys can see when we jump into our game we have no sky it's just all black and I kind of wanted to put an image there just so I know this is going to be a building, but I still want a sky just to make sure that it works and so I can show you guys. So how to do that is we need to go to the skybox tab right here. Now the skybox tab, it'll have a none tab um, and a file icon here. Yeah, none because we don't have a texture in there right now, but if we click this, we can add an image. And when we add that image, um, let me show you guys as an example we'll go back to our assets folder and in our assets folder we should have skies here there's two i've made so night sky and city night sky so that is uploaded in there i wanted to use the city night sky because there's something else i want to show you guys a little later but um yeah there's a setting here three settings in this setting so there's flat cylinder and cube i'll show these as an example so flat pretty much what it does is it'll <laughs> it'll just have a flat image of what our image is um, on a plane just above the map that's if you just have a sky image you just want to show that's just from the like bottom looking up uh, if we choose cylinder what that will do is it'll get our texture and it'll wrap it around a cylinder shape around our entire map which is also quite interesting but the method in which I want to use is um, cube. And what this will do is pretty much encapsulate our entire map in a cube and use the texture that we put in there um, as the faces, the interior faces. And so now we have quite a nice sky. And the reason why I wanted to use a cube map was I wanted to show this off. So let's get some glass here and place it down. Go back into the engine and our glass is right there. A cube map allows us to be able to have the bottom faces as something else. The transition isn't great, but yeah, it's kind of like a cool effect for that retro style. So we got our little city down at the bottom uh, coming into our sky. And yeah, it's interesting. You can probably tell just by looking down there that it's a cube, but yeah, a cool little aesthetic choice. Uh, but yeah, so we have our little sky and we know how to do a little bit of the mapping stuff but getting into more interesting things i know you guys have been waiting for is how do we make a weapon so uh, to make a weapon all you have to do is just come to this uh, object setting this tab up at the top click that and there will be a tab for weapon settings so we'll click that and these will be all our weapons at this point in time you can only have eight which is plenty for the type of game we we're trying to make um, that might change i'm not too sure we'll see in the future um but yeah for now let's just jump into our first weapon and the first weapon i want to make is going to be a crowbar so this weapon here is going to be a melee um, weapon so how do i make it a melee weapon well there's an easy super simple easy tick box right here um that we can tick that won't show up for you. I was just testing earlier on, sorry, but uh, yeah, we have a melee um, tick box. 
um, that we can take and now it will be a melee weapon so it will disregard some of these settings let me actually go through them so max ammo the amount of ammo like max you can have or collect mag ammo is how much um, ammo will be in your magazine damage we will need that I'll change that to let's say 20 for now and that will be the damage of the weapon and then fire rate so it'll be how fast the gun shoots or since this is a melee weapon how fast we'll attack so let's put that at 15 for now and then bullet number we will use this for when we make um, a weapon with multiple um, bullets shooting from it but uh, since it's a melee weapon we don't need to really focus on that reload speed um, yep how fast you reload we won't need this as well because a melee weapon doesn't reload I've never seen anyone reload a crowbar before but um, projectile speed this will be for if we add a projectile to the weapon how fast it will travel and then explosion radius this will be the radius of the explosion when uh, the projectile hits something like the area of effect that we'll have and then obviously we've got recoil settings which is adding recoil and how much recoil um, to the weapon and then spread is if we have multiple um, bullets the bullet spread of those bullets yeah we got our range as well that's pretty much self-explanatory how far you will hit uh, but yeah let's go into actually importing the our assets for this so we'll go import oh yeah it keeps doing this just click if this happens to you just click away and click back and then just click import sprites and it should work uh yeah and like i said i was testing this before but just so i can show you guys these will be all of the frames of animation for our weapon so we have our idle which is one frame um, and that'll be just when you're doing nothing in the game attack is obviously attack you get six frames of animation so there is a limitation to it but um, within limitations push creativity you know so click on this just so I can show you guys where they are located so if we go to the assets folder and then go to weapons and then crowbar all of our assets should be here so crowbar one that's going to be idle attack is going to be two and then three four five six seven that'll be all six frames of the animation the attack animation and then HUD icon is going to be your heads up display icon so this will show you what weapon you have currently equipped on your screen and then I'll pick up item I haven't put on so this icon will be what the object looks like in game so when we pick it up um, we'll get this weapon uh, so yeah these are kind of the only things we need um, for this melee weapon and then like I said before with that uh, ammo and box setting the ammo is already um, kind of sorted out in within here so if I added a sprite here um, it will give this item ammo and if I were to edit this pretty much that sprite would when we collect it give us this amount of ammo based off of this number here but yeah we have all of that in there and let's go into import sounds now these are all the sounds we have I will go through them all so we'll go pull out um, that'll just be crowbar pull out these are all in the same file as the crowbar fire it'll just be the crowbar swing and that's just going to be our attack and then this is important so miss what this refers to is this sound will be played when you hit anything besides an enemy or another entity so we'll click this and that will be crowbar miss pick up crowbar pick up and we don't need ammo pickup we don't need reload and we don't need projectile collision because um, a melee weapon doesn't need any of these so we'll press accept and we'll press accept to that and awesome we got our weapon settings done now where do i find my weapon well if we go to the objects tab here um, right here in this weapons tab we got our weapon right there awesome and if we click on it and place it in the map and now it exists within our game, which is awesome. So let's test it out here. We'll click this button to test our game. Collect it. Cool, and it's got all the sounds that we've put in. So, our swing animation. It's got that sound part as well. And um, like I said, when it comes to that miss um, sound effect, 
that's the sound that I yeah and I didn't have to add any of these these are all built in so these decals spawn as well as when I hit and those sparks show yeah pretty cool and yeah we got our first weapon One thing I should note too is if they are if the um, weapon sprites aren't scaling right on your screen like for example if I was to just put this back at one zero and zero press accept this is how it will look when you guys first upload them so we get the weapon you'll see we have a bit of clipping at the bottom of the hand I'm well, not clipping but like yeah you can tell it's an image just placed on top of the screen now and we don't want that so we go exit and go back to where we have our weapon uh, we go to the set position and scale tab and this will let us position the sprite um, however we want in the engine and the uh, uh, parameters i was using was just 0 0.9 for scale or size and then yeah there is the cutoff right there we kind of want to offset it so it's slightly below the screen only because since there's view bob added um the sprite will jump up slightly and so we don't want the bottom of the sprite showing um when we're inside the game i'll make this 120 so yeah it cuts off there and i'll make this one 120 as well maybe just 130 just to be safe and then we'll press accept accept and now everything should be working So our animation's looking nice. Got that view bob. Got our sky <laughs> with the little cityscape and yeah, we're really coming together, right? Eh? Awesome. Yeah, all of that's been added and I guess for the next episode we'll um, add some more weapons into the game and um, jump into a little bit more of the mapping I slowly want to um, get more and more in depth when it comes to the mapping gradually throughout all of um, the episodes I'll be doing mapping adding more weapons and hopefully if we have time I'll jump straight into making our first enemy but um, thank you guys for watching uh, please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you guys in the next episode eh?